Hi, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a North Star 10,000 watt. Uh, we'll be doing a custom kit for this, so it's not just a throw-in-the-box kit. So everything will be pre-done -pre for you on that. So the reason you kind of see the white gas tank missing off this one is because it has to be removed along with the cover here has to be taken off for this to be able to run on propane or natural gas so it would be dedicated unless you hooked something else up and brought your tank up here but there's just too much modifying for it so we just chose not to do it that way so we'll go ahead and get started on this and hopefully this will help okay first what we're going to do here is go ahead and now that the gas tank's off and all that stuff, we can, in the, the uh, cover, we can go ahead and get access to it. Just go ahead and pop this off here. And go ahead and get your wing nut off your air cleaner here. And we're going to go ahead and remove one, two, three, four bolts here. Um, and they are number 10. So we'll go ahead and get those off. Obviously, make sure you don't drop nothing down on that intake. I just take the screws and set them to the side. And we got two more here. us to the carburetor here and then we'll go ahead and pull this off and set that to the side and we'll get to our next step here okay now what we're going to do is go ahead and install our adapter between the air cleaner um, and your gasoline carb. Now this has an O-ring seal around it so you don't need a gasket on the bottom. Uh, make sure you hook this hose up first because you won't be able to do it after you get that set up. Go ahead and line that up there and we'll give you a gasket here and we'll also give you two spacer extensions for this here. We'll just kind of set them up top for now. And we're going to try to feed all these a little bit at a time here. So let's go ahead and bring our air cleaner cover back over. And I'll drop a bolt through here first just to kind of get me lined up here. I'm going to have to just look underneath a little until you feel it grab. that side and then we'll do the same to the other side here I'm just kind of peeking behind it there get this one installed make sure the gaskets there got the gasket all right that was a little bit easier on that one and then the spacers in the front okay just kind of guide them in Spacer over here. Eh. Get that one fed through. All right. Got that. Go ahead and bring these down. Kind of hand snug them for now until you get them all set. And we'll go ahead and tighten them down. And we'll go ahead 
ahead and get our air cleaner back on here. And get our cover back on. And that is that step right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly. All right, I looked around this. I figured the easiest spot to do is go up in this area here. Um, and then you could still have access to your primer button back here for a quicker start. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mark over four inches from the side of the frame here. Okay, make our mark there. And then from there over, we're going to go five and three quarters of an inch. Make our mark there. And then we're going to come down an inch and a half. Okay. And make that mark there. Inch and a half. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a center punch. Uh, makes it easier for the drill to wobble around on you. Go ahead and make your mark there. And let's get our mark here. All right, then we'll go ahead and drill these out. All right, now we're set to go ahead and drill. Now, I get a piece of metal or a piece of wood you can stick up behind here because obviously your air cleaner's back here. You don't want to puncture it. So go ahead and drill this one out here. Down. This one we don't need anything behind it. that we'll clean those up and get to our next step okay now we're going to go ahead and install our regulator assembly here um, like I said this will all come pre-assembled for you so you don't have to fit anything together um, go ahead and get our nuts here lined up and our washers get this one in here first and get this fastened back here. All right, and then one more over here. And this is a little tighter back on this side because you're by the air cleaner, so. Yeah, the air cleaner's right back there, so it's kind of hard to get your fingers fed back there. All right, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and lock these down.
And that is completes this step here. Now next we'll hook our propane up and we'll run it. Okay, now we can go ahead and get our propane hooked up here. Connect this to here. You don't need any pipe rope on these. Uh, it's a flare fitting. And you don't have to tighten them real tight. You're only dealing with six ounces of pressure here. And then we'll go ahead and connect this up to the tank here. Turn our fuel on. Turn them on slow. Make sure you always turn your tanks on slow so you don't get a vapor lock. All right, I'll go ahead and move over on this side. Make sure your sh shutoff valve is on here. Um, your key is on. Let's go ahead and crank this. We're going to hit our primer button in the back. And we're going to have our power adjustment here. In is lean, out is rich. This is the most sensitive part about the conversion here. And probably one of the toughest that everybody has with. We'll preset these as close as we can here. But if you have a roll pull, this could take a while. Um, normally, I'll keep feather in the back with the primer to keep the fuel going. So let's go ahead and hit that. Crank this. Obviously having the rope pull, well, it does take a while with the rope pull, but if you can keep prime in the back of that, you don't want to flood it out. You just hit the button for one or two seconds. If it doesn't start right away, give it a little bit just to uh, let the fuel vanish out of the intake and stuff. So that is the propane step. Now for the natural gas, you would just have this, this bushing removed and the brass fitting here, and you can bring your natural gas feed in directly right to this from your meter. Uh, we also carry Quick Connects three quarters for that and the hose, which will also be on the website too, but that's that step there. Okay, uh, that is our custom kit for the North Star 10,000. Uh, this has the Honda GX630 engine in it, um, and we showed you the propane side and then the natural gas hookup. Um, again, these are custom built kits. They're not a throw in the box kit, so everything will be pre-assembled for you. Uh, it's not a universal fit. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit, uh, you can go to pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648. I want to thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out a lot. Um, thank you very much and uh, have a wonderful day.